Hello, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we are into exercise number 52. And you know we are into the modern design experience and related to that I have built an exercise I feel that would be very very useful for your practicals for interviews if this is asked in your interview. So let's get started. Before that anyone who is very new to our channel let me tell you how our channel contents are helping subscribers to get a job and here are couple of samples. Great. Now how you can take maximum benefit of our channel? To take maximum benefit of our channel, all you need to do is go to YouTube and search for Expo Hub and click on this logo. And once you click on this logo, you'll be landing onto our homepage. And this is the best place for you to search for specific content by going to the video section and searching for this content that you are looking for. If not, you would like to start as per the UiPath Academy chapter wise manner. We have also created all the helpful videos in the chapter wise manner and kept in the playlist. Even you can utilize them. With that, let's see what is today's exercise. Today's exercise for this will be using the rpachallenge.com. Why am I taking rpachallenge.com? Because other applications that we use uh, for our clients, for our companies, we cannot show that on YouTube, right? Those are very, very specific. So for you to practice on specific application, even you should be able to access them. If I just teach you, you will not be able to even do anything with that. So rpachallenge.com is a good option for you to try and learn there. Okay. So now use rpachallenge.com for this web, for this exercise. Okay. How will you design? So the question for you is, I'm going to explain you over the rpachallenge.com as well. The question here is, how will you design a workflow which should only enter data to the form if the page does not show start? So what do I mean by that? Let me open rpachallenge.com. So in the rpachallenge.com, you see when you launch this page, right? For the very first time, when you launch it, what happens? Your page will have a start button on the left side bottom corner. So here the condition is, how will you design a workflow which should only enter data to the form? So this is the form, right? Where you'll be entering first name, last name, phone number, address and all that. So it should only enter the data when this is not start. I mean, only enter data to the form if the page does not show start. That means if does not show start means if I click on this, what happens? It is changing it to round one, right? If I so if I submit, it will change to route two. If I submit again, it changes to round three. So anything apart from start, then it should enter the data. Getting it? So it should only enter the data when it is not start. The page does not show start. Okay? It should be something else. So using modern design experience, you have to design it. So keep calm. All you do, go to your UAPA studio and open your project in modern design experience. So I have already taught you what is modern design and how do you create a project in modern design. There is a very detailed video I have created. So I'm hoping you have already seen that and coming to this exercise. So first of all, you open this project in the modern design and then all you do look at the UI automation modern design activities. So looking at this activity, you think which are the activity that can use. So there are multiple ways for you to do it. But look at this activity, you will get a clue what to do it. Okay, or else you would have already got a clue looking at the thumbnail of this video, right? Yes, so let's get started in case you are very new. Let's get started and understand this. First of all, let me use a check app state activity. Okay, so I'm using a check app state activity. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on indicate target on screen. First of all, I have to tell it. The current activity must be added inside a use application browser. So this cannot be in the modern design. As I said, it cannot be used individually. I have to first of all use the use application browser activity. Very simple. Drag and drop that. Indicate the application. So let me do F2. Go to rpachallenge.com and wait for that timer to get over. And now highlight this application. Click somewhere. Okay, so once you have highlighted the application, we found a matching screen in your object repository I have created. So see, if you have already created, it is going to tell you, would you like to reuse? I will say don't reuse. Let me do it from the beginning. 
So first of all, I have indicated the application. Very good. Second step. Let me use the check app state activity. Okay. Check app state activity. This is very, very important. Check app state. Okay. Check app state is very, very useful activity that is available in UiPath. Very, very useful activity. So let me tell you how it works. So check app state, pretty simple. First of all, you indicate the target element. So what is our condition here? Let me refresh the screen so that I get the start button. So only when the start button disappears, then you start doing your work, right? That is the condition. So first of all, let me click on indicate whatever your condition is, what you want to disappear or what you want to appear, then you want to do some job. So depending on that, you target that specific element. So for me, this is the target element. So I'm going to click on this button and click on confirm done so i've targeted my element so what i want when the element disappears so there are two conditions element appear depending on the situation if you want to use that element disappear so i'm going to use element disappear when the start button disappears then what i want to do if the target so there are two different conditions side by side one is target disappears target does not disappear Clear? So if the target disappears, what you want to do? So if the target disappears, then what I want to do? I want to type in. So I will use a type into activity. So everything I'm using from the modern design experience. Okay. Now here I'm going to click on indicate target on screen. What I want to type. Let's say I want to type uh, the first name. Click on confirm. So you can make it very, very dynamic, okay, using variable that we can create. First of all, let's understand how it works. Then we can design as we need, okay. So here I'm typing, let's say Rakesh. Okay, so if the start button is not there, start typing Rakesh. So similar way, you can do it for all the elements, which you can practice on your own. So here just I'm using one element. Done. And uh, click before typing, not required. Empty field before typing. So all these are automatically set. If in case you have to change, then you can go through all of it. But for this one, it's not required. Done. Now, if the target does not disappear, let's say the start button is still there. If the start button is still there, I wanted to click on it and click on indicate. And I wanted to click on the start button. So what would happen if somebody clicks on that, then it will disappear. Then the round one, round two, like that will come, right? So when you click on this, the round one will come. So I want that. Let me click on confirm. Okay, so after you click on start, what I want, I want to type. Okay, so for a differentiation purpose, instead of Rakesh, let me put, let's say, Peter. Okay, so that you know. If the start button is there, then it will type Peter. If the start button is not there, it should type Rakesh. Conditions is quite simple. Let's quickly run it and understand how it works. So at least one time you have to use all the activities so that you know how they work. Okay, so anytime any situation comes. So what happened here? The start button. So it has clicked on the start button. So round one has come and it has typed Peter. So let's say now round one is there. If I run it now, what it should type? It should type Rakesh, right? So if I run it again. Now because start button is not there, it starts from the left side. So what it has typed? So Rakesh it has typed. So getting it how it works. So pretty simple activity, but again, very, very useful activity. So thank you so much for watching this. Please do give it a like. Please do subscribe. Please do share with your friends. Anyone who's interested to learn UI path, please welcome them to with Expo Hub channel and let, let them subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. And you guys have a wonderful day. We'll come up with the next video. Bye-bye.